Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Foundry. I'm JB here with Sly, and today we're going to take a little peek -see at the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. Sly, this is right off of the new Christmas special that was on Disney+. Plus. Are you excited about this? Hell yeah, man. I'm freaking stoked about this. Um, so, Phase 4 has come to a conclusion. Uh, Marvel is, t to me... Not doing great, you know. I'm sure it's they're dead. making billions of billions and billions of dollars, but there is nothing that I've seen that actually has made me interested to see it whatsoever. So I, I try to stay optimistic and stay excited. And I'm here with you guys. I'm here with Sly. Sly, let's let's look at this trailer. Oh, uh, what, what's some stuff, Preface? We need to, before going into this from the Christmas special, which I've ah. yet to see. But anyone that should know before going into this trailer, right? Yes. To, to start with, um, there's a couple revelations. Is this a spoiler, technically? I should release some spoilers, technically. Yes, but you guys should definitely watch this, watch the Christmas stuff before watching this uh, trailer. But if Absolutely. you guys don't care, stick around. But Sly, right. please, go for it. Two big things, actually three big things that are like major takeaways from uh, the Christmas special. There's a bunch of cool little Easter eggs in it, but the big three ones I'd say are, one, they recasted uh, Cosmo, the, uh, the dog. Is it a the Chihuahua now? The is Russian, the Russian now? dog. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's still a different, like golden retriever looking dog. Um, it's just a different one, and they gave it a voice and everything, so it's like an actual. It's a Guardian of the Galaxy. Oh, that's actually pretty. So it's like, yeah. so, Oh, that's awesome because I remember was right? it the first game he was an Easter egg at the collectors. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the other thing is they technically took over Nowhere. Nowhere is now their base of operations. That's sick. That's one of my favorite I, things about. Uh, totally befitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another, I guess, two big things is Groot has a new redesign. Groot looks different. He's a little more grown up. Mm -hmm. And Mantis and Quill are indeed confirmed to be siblings. What? Yes. Wow, that's that's quite interesting. I actually was looking on Twitter and someone, some idiot was trying to post some all stuff. And James Gunn straight up was like, this is a completely different Groot from the one that yeah. we know. So I'm like, that's yes. interesting. That's really interesting to see they like, what Groot is in like this life form because like you've never experienced anything about it and like they make up their own rules as they go along and it's really yep. interesting to see where they go with it everyone was thinking like oh this is just Groot but he's younger like nope this is uh technically like a little sapling from the previous Groot this Groot is no longer that there. Groot that sacrificed himself yeah lovely I thought that was a cool detail because it was like <laughs> oh well that gives me closure but like I, like that. I never would have guessed that and like rockets like his daddy -o. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Papa Rocket. <clears throat> let's uh, let's dive in this trailer. I'm ready, boys. Yeah. Ooh. We were gone for quite a while. What are they, Nova 2.0? But no matter what <laughs> happens next. Ryan Gosling? <laughs> the galaxy still needs its guardians. Oh, there's sh that shit looks badass. Hey, that's clean. They've got uniforms and everything. Ew. Oh. It's like fur town of furries. It's a bomb. Oh, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is our right Animal control. Kingdom. This is awesome. Man. Don't forget. Oh, baby rocket. Oh, no. Not the origin stories of Half World, dude. Oh. We have been running. Is that a 2001 reference? Oh shit! Oh man! Whoa! The Guardians movies are visually stunning as fuck. Hey, he's hey, back. the high evolutionary dude. Oh, back in prison. Oh no! I know. Well, that's lovely. Oh, they're wait. That look like hair follicles. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. For some reason, I thought Quantumania for a minute. I know. It reminded me of that. Oh, what the oh, fuck! Oh, it's the order that that he, he yes. escaped. Oh, Go. shit, Adam Warlock. Oh, man. Oh, dude, hey, look at the arms he's got. Dude, Groot, fucking General Grutus. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one else. <laughs> now you're just making it sad. <laughs> hey. Jesus that's... Christ. Nice. It's fucking dark. <laughs> Okay, that fuck was, me, man. Damn, that was a good one. This looks like a huge, like, accumulation of characters that we've been building and waiting to see. 
and it feels so right and natural and just great. Man, I cannot oh. wait. I, I love Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. They're, they're some of my favorite Marvel movies. Absolutely out, some of the best I, that they came out with. Absolutely. I, I feel like when the first Guardians movie came out, I feel like that really set the bar for like the Cosmo and the Cosmics yeah. of the MCU. You know? I'm like, what you can expect. I'm like, wow, like this can be something entirely different from your neighborhood Spider-Man. You know, They've got the, the different um, heights. Uh, but th yeah, this looks fantastic. We get looks like we're gonna see a lot in a rocket. So man, if oh, they yeah. kill they kill Rocket off because a lot of TV movies do that where they're like they give a character a moment of the shine and then they kill him off. Yep. Yeah. I'm banking on Rocket surviving. I'm worried about some of the other Guardians members. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more than one die. Yeah. Um. Maybe Dave Bautista or even. Yeah. That would really suck. I'm just thinking, I'm like, yeah, there aren't too many. What's the deal with Gamora? I know. We've got the, the Gamora that survived from uh, the new timeline, technically, remember? In, from, yeah, uh, that's, Endgame? that's a long time ago to leave something unfinished. In for, that's what I'm saying. Like They, they do these things, and it's like, oh, in, in, in real time, in MCU, it's been like eight days. But for us, it's like it's like half a it's decade. years, dude. yeah. It's half a fucking decade. I'm not going to rewatch that movie again. I was a boy last night. Yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, need to, you need to hone in a little bit better about your yeah. sequels, you know? Because it's supposed to be a sequel to, to, you know, two, and there's some stuff that happened in between, but... Yep. I, what if they just kill her off again? <laughs> like I, you know what? I kind of could... I expect that. I, I kind of expect that. <laughs> they just kill her again. Like, that'd be fucking hilarious. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'd, I'd bank on Quill getting killed this time. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe Quill, but I'm like, man, I don't... Like, I love all the Guardians. I love them, but I don't know if they can, like, have the star power for a film, you know, for a... Well, fourth movie. This is their last movie, though, isn't it? Uh, I... I, I don't know. I yeah. feel like it should be, mm -hmm. especially with James Gunn's, James Gunn's recent departure or transition. Yeah. But... I, I have a sinking feeling they're going to, like, rebrand the Guardians into something different going forward. And, you know, Adam Warlock's probably going to be a part of that future team. You know, I could kind of see it. Like, I mentioned Nova Corps. They've got the uniforms. What if it turns into, oh. like, like a more later uh, Justice League kind of thing where they just, like, have hundreds yeah. of members or something like that. So it's, like, every obscure little cosmic character that, you know, is a hero and is a part of that and can help out any convenience or whatever. Like, that'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. Kind of like space caps, you know? But like Pretty much, guys, yeah. They're not shitty. Yeah. <clears throat> and they don't have John C. Riley either, so. <laughs> I forgot he was in that first movie. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he's crazy. Um, what was what was that asshole guy who died in that movie? What was his name? Do you know that actor's name? Oh, fuck. Oh, um, that dude's in, uh, he's in Dark Souls too. But he's like obsessed with Dark Souls. It's great. He's a really cool guy. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. He's a uh, he. Um, Miyazaki. Uh, he was like such a band, big fan Miyazaki. of Dark Souls. Yeah, he was such a big fan of Dark Souls One. He got in contact uh, with FromSoft, and they put him in the second game. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Did not know that. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, right? Yeah, but hey, that's th later this year. Uh, personally, I still only watched Black Panther, um, and that's the conclusion to Phase 4, right? Yeah, Black Panther is the end of Phase 4. After this, it's Phase 5. Here we come. What's what's our first movie for Phase 5? Phase mo uh, first movie for Phase 5 is uh, Quantumania. Yes, mm -hmm. man. Nice. Um, so we got that, I think, what, in a couple months, March or February? Yeah, right? February. February. Nice. Cool, and that movie... I, I hope it. I hope it's pretty good. You know, I haven't seen a lot yeah. of Ant Man. Ant Man's pretty sweet, so hopefully it'll be yeah, good. I'm pretty fond of him. He's a he's a surprise. You know. <clears throat> okay, but you guys stay tuned here on the Foundry for more Marvel stuff in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later on the next react or review. But until then, bye, you guys. Bye.